In various recreational places across Kigali City, various people are seen relaxing while using the free Wi-Fi phone in these places. It's an initiative that the city administration put in place to make it easier for those who want to relax and work from such places. Some of these people include students, artists, among other people who say they are grateful for such investments. We are grateful to the city of Kigali that established this free Wi-Fi zone. It is a good initiative that we hope reaches everywhere across the country. Apart from students who use it, there are other people that use the internet for various other reasons as well. We are utilizing the internet well as students as we are preparing for the national exams. We are currently studying how to convert binaries into decimals thanks to free internet. The National Institute of Statistics of Rwanda has said that while all services were affected last year because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the technology sector rose by 29%. Alex Nare, the CEO of the Rwanda ICT Chamber under the Private Sector Federation, says this is something to be grateful for. We usually see that various sectors such as tourism, agriculture, among others are big contributors to the country's economy. But not so many traders in these sectors have embraced technology. But once they have, we hope that this will help us increase productivity than before when they weren't fully utilizing the internet. Dr. Ernest Nsabimana, the Director General of the Rwanda Utilities and Regulatory Authority, says a lot was invested, including towers to improve service delivery. When we've seen all these issues, we liaise with service providers such as MTN, Airtel and others to be able to rectify all these issues that come with internet usage. And the other thing that is being done in Kigali and across the country where people are expressing issues of connectivity and poor coverage, there are still places that need towers. This year we had to construct 45 more towers across the country so to see that this issue of connectivity is resolved. The country's investment in technology has seen more than 33,220 virtual meetings being held in one year's period and on average, each meeting lasted about an hour and 45 minutes. According to Webex, from March 2020 to March this year, the online meetings have lasted about 3.840 million minutes. In 2018, the internet coverage countrywide was 35% and it is currently at 98%. Subscriptions have also risen from 4.7 million people that year to 7.9 million people by 2021. Gloria Mutesi reporting for RTV News.